Passive Income NFTs Make Money on Autopilot NFTs are the hottest thing since sliced bread. The market of NFTs is booming. It grew from $106 million to $44.2 billion in just one year. In this video, we will be talking about how you can get your fair share out of this pool. We'll be talking about the many different ways you can make passive income from them. When we say passively, you might think of a way where you would be buying and selling NFTs like we do with cryptocurrencies. And that's exactly what this video is all about. Welcome to our channel. And here on this channel, we help people stay informed of what is going on in the financial world so they can get the most possible share out of it and hence live a better and wealthier life. You can subscribe to our channel if something from our channel resonates with your mindset. And if so, also go for the turning on of notifications because we guess you'll be glad you did. Let's start. Number one, renting out your NFTs. One way you can procure passive income is to lease your NFTs, especially the most popular. For example, some card exchanging games permit players to get NFT cards to increase their possibilities of winning. True to form, the terms administering the arrangement between the two groups included are represented by savvy contracts. Hence, the users of NFT normally have the opportunity to set their favored length of the tenant contract and the rent rate for the NFT. A main illustration of a platform that permits clients to lease or loan NFTs is RENFT. The incredible thing about this technique is that the exchange is totally mechanized through brilliant agreements. You essentially enter the term you need to lease your NFT and the expense, and the blockchain will naturally track down a leaseholder making it extraordinarily easy revenue for novices. Gaming specialists foresee that before long, significant games will include NFTs, and leasing or buying them will be fundamental to partake in a game completely. As NFTs keep on ascending in cost, numerous gamers can't bear to possess one. This is the place where you can procure a colossal yield by leasing them out. In this situation, everybody wins as the gamers get to partake in their game completely and you get to procure a totally automated revenue from your NFT. The disadvantage to this methodology is that assuming your NFT must be utilized in one game and when that game loses fame, there might be nobody available to lease your NFT. Therefore, you want to purchase NFTs with different use cases and that are popular to the point that various designers will need to highlight them in their game. Number two, NFT royalties. The fundamental innovation driving NFTs permits makers to set terms that force royalty expenses at whatever point their NFTs change hands on the auxiliary market. As such, the makers can get automated revenue even subsequent to offering their manifestations to authorities. With this, they can procure a portion of the business cost of the NFTs being referred to endlessly. For instance, on the off chance that the royalty of the computerized fine art is set at 10%, the first maker will get 10% of the complete deal value each time their work of art is exchanged to another proprietor. Note that makers frequently set these foreordained rates while stamping the NFTs. In addition, savvy contracts, self-executing PC programs that authorize authoritative arrangements, oversee the whole cycle engaged with conveying royalties. This implies that as a maker, you don't have to implement your eminence terms or track installment physically as the cycle is completely computerized. The most widely recognized type of NFT royalty is a rate charged each time an NFT is sold. The most widely recognized royalty is somewhere in the range of 5 to 10%. For instance, assuming your NFT is sold for $5,000 and you have a 10% royalty, you will get $500. Each time your NFT is offered, you will keep on getting payments of royalty, and these automated revenue payments will keep on increasing as the resource appreciates. Number 3. Stake NFTs the third way to earn passive income from NFTs is to stake them. One of the advantages of marriage among NFTs and DeFi conventions is the chance of staking NFTs. Staking alludes to the method involved with storing or locking advanced resources into a DeFi convention smart agreement to create a yield. While certain platforms support a wide scope of NFTs, others expect you to buy local NFTs to acquire staking token prizes. Staking is the place where you pledge your NFTs to a blockchain network, and as a compensation for doing this, the blockchain will pay you cryptocurrency, which you then at that point can exchange, trade, sell, or gather. While your NFTs are marked, you can't sell or move them. You really want to secure a specific level of tokens to handle exchanges rapidly and increment the organization's security. 
To fortify the organization, NFT holders are encouraged to stake their NFTs by a guaranteed cryptocurrency award. Staking is one of the most famous automated revenue thoughts for NFTs on the grounds that investors actually hold proprietorship freedoms of their NFTs, and they procure an income while holding their NFTs. The disadvantage to this automated revenue system is that while your NFT is marked and you can't sell it, the cost of your resource might drop altogether, bringing about weighty misfortune. Notwithstanding, in the event that you intend to hold your NFTs for a long time, staking is an incredible method for producing a yield. Sometimes a piece of the prizes appropriated to stakeholders is designated in administration tokens. Such conventions enable these symbolic holders to cast ballot rights over the future improvement of their ecosystems. As a rule, it is feasible to reinvest coins acquired from staking NFTs into other yield-producing conventions. Number 4. Provide liquidity to earn NFTs Because of the continuous joining of NFTs and DeFi frameworks, it has become possible to give liquidity and get NFTs consequently to lay out your situation in a given liquidity pool. For instance, when you give liquidity on Uniswap V3, the AMM will give you an ERC721 token, otherwise called LP NFT. That subtracts your portion of the aggregate sum secured in the pool. Other data scratched into the NFT is the symbolic pair you stored, the symbols of the tokens and the address of the pool. You can offer this NFT to sell your position on liquidity pools rapidly. Let's have a look at a simple example. The SIB liquidity pool has a 10 SIB per $10 million on each side. Then at that point, when Poria Paper hands one SIB, it becomes 11 SIB per $9,010,000. This exchange means one SIB is less fiat esteem than before Poria sold it. These actions of trading result in the US dollar cost of coins such as BTC, ETH, and ASH. This is similar to how the Ethereum network provides incentives for those giving Ethereum network nodes to notorious gas fees to process your transaction. The $10,000 left behind forms the shared rewards for those who gave SIB and fiat to the pool in agreement for the amount they gave. There are a few dangers implied with giving liquidity. For instance, assuming SIB moons while the worth of fiat stays something very similar, you will miss out on a nice part of the SIB acquires when you take out your liquidity for gains. For this reason, unstable resources are by and large not great for giving liquidity in view of exchange incentives alone. This is an exceptionally improved adaptation of ephemeral loss, which has more to do about the imbalance of the transaction. Number 5. Adopt NFT-Powered Yield Farming The last way we are going to talk about is adopting NFT-Powered Yield Farming. Because NFTs are fast turning into a center part of AMMs, users can now cultivate for yields using NFT-controlled products. Yield cultivating refers to the technique for utilizing various DeFi protocols to create the highest possible yield with the computerized assets you have. From our model over, the LP NFT tokens issued as liquidity supplier tokens on Uniswap can additionally be used as insurance or staked on different protocols to procure unexpected yields. Consider it acquiring a yield on top of another yield producing convention. This possibility unlocks a layered income creating model that is convenient for yield farmers. However, note that NFTs and the fundamental smart agreement innovation is still somewhat new. As such, a significant number of the applications giving the opportunities are in their developmental stage. Considering this, it is advisable to complete the expected level of effort and understand the risks implied prior to taking on any of the strategies we have discussed. That brings us to the end of this video. So which way of generating passive income from NFTs have you found the most convenient? Let us know in the comment section down below. Also, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it. We will see you guys in our next one.